Yo, what's good, family? It's your boy, the expert genius, aka XP. And I'm back at it again with another video. This time, you know, I'm talking about this whole Tyson Fury situation. And I'm going to have to go ahead and bring up Max Kellerman. Now, uh, the question was asked to Max, you know, for this Wilder Fury 3 uh, trilogy, does Wilder have a chance? And he basically said, Wilder absolutely doesn't have a chance. I mean, he has a puncher's chance, but he doesn't have a chance. And quoted something Tyson Fury said, when it's talking about, in the first, Deontay Wilder couldn't beat him in the first fight when he was 50%. What is he going to do when he's 100%? Well, let, let me counter that. Because Tyson Fury said he wasn't 100%. They all said he was 60%, not 50%. Whatever that's supposed to mean. But Wilder threw his game plan out and still knocked you out and y'all robbed him of a knockout and for those y'all that want to say well the fight was a draw and all this Tyson Fury did nothing for the first four rounds because this is this is going to go into uh, Max Kellerman saying that out of the 19 rounds Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury fought you can arguably say Wilder only won two rounds. Now, in the, like I said, in the first fight, Tyson Fury did nothing the first four rounds besides, you know, being defensive. Wilder was the aggressor. He threw more punches, and he landed more punches. So out of the first four rounds, how did Tyson Fury win the first four rounds unless you were doing like this new era with this participation award stuff and just giving him the rounds for participation, well, for participating and for the fact that he was surviving these rounds without getting knocked out in the second or third round like everybody else thought and like his own father thought. Now, the fifth round was closer. You can either give it to me, you can either give it to Wilder, or you can give it to uh, Tyson Fury in the fifth round. But let's just say Deontay Wilder won, only won the first four rounds, and then the, the two rounds where he knocked Tyson Fury down and Fury won all the other rounds. That's still eight rounds. And for those of y'all that say, well, he got back up and he won the uh, the 12th round. There's no two-point system in boxing. Round nine, 10-8 round. Round 12, 10-8 round. And if you say Tyson Fury won, got up and won the rest of the round, that's still a 10-9 round for Deontay Wilder. So, how was Deontay Wilder, well, how did Deontay Wilder lose? And how was Tyson Fury robbed? Wilder was robbed of a knockout and he was robbed of a W. Now, in the, in the rematch, while, even though these rounds were close, Wilder won the first two rounds. Those are the only rounds he won of the fight. But he won the first two rounds. So, my question to Max Kellerman, with all that said, how the hell can you say Deontay Wilder only won two of the rounds, or two out of 19 rounds against uh, Tyson Fury? You showing your boxing. I mean, you showing your bias. And I gotta, I gotta say something like Floyd Mayweather. You don't know shit about boxing. 
You don't. You you really don't know shit about boxing, bro. And for uh, the WBC to come out and say that, you know, about the glove situation that, you know, there has been no complaint and, you know, there's really no evidence to prove his gloves. Y'all covering y'all ass. Y'all some y'all some dirty motherfuckers and, and you racist this on here. Talking about uh I seen on uh, uh my brother uh Young Furl's channel somebody talking about uh basically saying the weak black mind can't handle a loss and all that kind of stuff. Y'all bro, y'all y'all funny cause y'all 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 the same ones when Andre Ward beat Kovalev twice couldn't handle that shit made up all kind of excuses yeah made up all kind of excuses Kovalev made up excuses more excuses than what Deontay Wilder and y'all say he's making up excuses but he's made up more excuses than what y'all claim Deontay Wilder's made and y'all didn't y'all co-signed that shit just co-signed it y'all didn't say Y'all didn't say Kovalev was making up excuses and all that. Y'all took that hard. Very hard. But yeah, y'all want to call us weak-minded and can't handle a loss. Get the fuck out of here, man. Y'all, y'all some clowns. And... Again, like I said, I'm about to start doing some videos exposing channels and all that. And I, I had this idea after the, uh, well, not after, but before the first Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury fight that, you know, I was going to start making videos exposing channels, but I never did because if this is the same guy that I, I said I was going to do this for, but he did something last night that made me be like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News. I was on the fence with you, but now I see you a whole fucking clown, bro. You are a wilder hater. The Sports Rag put out a, a little joke yesterday about... uh. Deontay Wilder being hospitalized after uh, going to a mall in his hometown of Tuscaloosa and trying on a Canada goose coat, saying his knees buckled. And your whole ass made a video about that. And then laughing it up and had the nerve to say, because I didn't watch all the damn video, but you, you had the nerve to say you you feel Wilder is you know doing this and with the injuries and all that kind of stuff to try to get out of the rematch with Tyson Fury you a whole fucking clown bro and your first video that I said I was gonna do this to a couple of, uh, what was that at the end of uh, 2018 was a video you said uh, about uh, Deontay Wilder lying and all that kind of stuff. You don't never say shit about Eddie Hearn or Anthony Joshua and the lies and contradictions they've said. You just co-sign the shit. So I'm going I'm to expose your clown ass. You're going to be the first. I've already challenged you in your comment section and one on one of your lives you did to a debate and you haven't responded. Now you respond to some of my comments, but not all of them. But yeah, I'm gonna have to expose you because you a fucking clown and it's like I said, you 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 pander to a base. I don't even know if you 
really believe all the stuff that you say, but you say the shit because it's popular and it's going to get people coming to your channel, leaving likes and leaving comments and getting you subs. That's that's one of the reasons why I think you do this shit, just to get subs. And if that's the case, you a real fucking clown, bro. Because you can't even be yourself. And if you, if you really do believe all this stuff you say, my nigga, do some fucking research. Do some research. And like Furl said, you are a fucking clown, bro. You, you are a fucking disgrace. It's sad that us as black people have other blacks preying on another black's downfall. Like I said, I, I live here in Oklahoma City right now. You know, I was born, I was born in Texas. My dad's people is from California, the Oakland area. My mom's people is from St. Louis. And, you know, they all just migrated to Texas, met up, you know. It is what it is. Me and my sister was born in Lubbock, Texas, but now living out here in uh, Oklahoma City. It's crazy that I know more white people and Mexicans that fuck with Deontay Wilder more than I do blacks that live here that fuck with Deontay Wilder. And what the crazy thing is, is that the blacks here that don't fuck with Deontay Wilder fuck with Floyd Mayweather. How is that that you have more white people and more Mexicans Rocking for rocking with a black fighter more than his own people. That's sad, bro. And this guy is out here putting black culture, putting us on his back, showing his pride, speaking out for us, and we can't even stand up for him. Y'all some fucking clowns, bruh. And y'all condoning this whole Tyson Fury cheating shit. Got sympathizers out here talking about uh, stop crying and, you know, just let it go. There's going to be a third fight. Bro, so you willing to let somebody rob. Let, let, let's say you, 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 you willing to let somebody rob you. And you just gonna turn the other cheek? Like, oh, well, you know, it is what it is. Get all the way the fuck out of here. Whoever you are, throw these bitches away. Throw the whole bitch away. But this your boy, the expert genius, a.k.a. XP. I just had to, you know, say something on this because this shit is getting real toxic and people showing they real colors around here. Now, oh, and before I get off, it's some channels that some black, some white that I used to uh, that I used to listen to, and you know they, you know, you know they be praising the LDBC and all that kind of stuff, which is good, you know. Shout out to the LDBC. But after Deontay Wilder lost, I seen a lot of these same motherfuckers turn on Deontay Wilder. Yeah. So on these, when I start, when I finally start making these exposed videos, you know I'm keeping an eye on you. I'm keeping an eye on you. Shout out to the LDBC. It's your boy X, and I'm gone.